All right, I hope you did well on your checkup with circles. We are going to move into some really interesting things now. The parabola, ellipse, and hyperbola. Wow. All right, let's talk first about the parabolas where the vertex is at the origin. Remember, the origin is where the x and the y axis intersect. So that point right there, zero, zero. And uh, those will, will start there. I want you to notice some terms here. Um, I tried to draw a picture showing what a parabola looks like. It can be aimed to the right, it can be aimed to the left, it can be aimed up, or it can be aimed down. Um, I always think it looks like the cone, the tip of a missile cone, all right? And uh, they can be pretty narrow, or they can spread out and be pretty wide. Okay, we'll deal with that in some future lessons, but for now, <clears throat> by definition, this distance from this vertex, which is right here, to a line, and this line is called the directrix, okay? Kind of tricky. Directrix, so it says line, and then the focal point called the focus is from the origin, the same distance in, so a distance of A. But here's what's interesting, and it's kind of hard to tell this just by looking at the pace, but if I were to go to a point, let's say right here on this graph of this parabola, the distance from here to the focus and from here to the directrix should be the same, okay? Now you can tell I'm not a very good artist and so it didn't happen that way. And if I go from the focus out to a point even out here and then come straight over to the directrix, this distance here should be the same as this distance. The distance from here to here at any point where it meets up here, that distance should be the same. Now, like I said, it's not very accurate. And the same thing would happen down here. If I drew it from the focus to the graph and then from the directrix over to the graph, those two distances should be the same length. That is the definition of a parabola. All right. <clears throat> now again, you, I don't want you to think you have to memorize this chart. Uh, there are four standard equations. It says the information in the box on the next page must be memorized. That's, that is not practical, okay? So please, have a copy of this available. Uh, it might be wise to copy it down so that you see it. Have it on a 4x6 card, a 3x5 card, something, and we'll refer to it. Let's take one example here and... Um, See if we can come up with the answers, the focus, the directrix, and the position. So just like they have in the homework. So I looked up here, and I'm looking, and there's four types here. Y squared equals 4AX. Nope, similar, but not the same. X squared equals 4AY. We're getting close. If I go over here to the fourth one, X squared equals negative 4AY. Aha! That matches, okay? So from here, we can get all the information we need. So first of all, the vertex is gonna be at zero, zero, so I don't even need to write that down. It says that the focus is gonna be at zero, negative A. Now I'm looking at 20 here and I'm saying, I don't see A there. <laughs> all right, let's, uh, let's compare these two here. Um, Actually, that's not the one. It would, be, it would be this one over here, okay? Because this is positive. Okay? I'm gonna get rid of that negative. <clears throat> X squared equals four A times Y. So notice the pattern here. You see how x squared equals y? And up here we have 4a, and here we have 20. 
So what we need to do is kind of go over here and set these two things equal to each other. 4a must equal 20. Now I can divide both sides by 4 to figure out that a is 5. All right. So whenever you see these, whatever comes in front of the y, you have to set that equal to the 4a. And now we can figure out the focus. Let's see, I'm looking at this one over here now. So the focus is zero, comma, and then whatever the a value is. So we just calculated that to be five. I'm following the pattern here, number three. So it says the directrix is y equals negative a. So that must mean I'm gonna have y equals negative five. Okay, and then the position, so I'm looking at the graph here, and all we're trying to figure out is, does it go down, does it open up, does it open to the left, or does it open to the right? And so looking at this illustration here, I can see that it's going to open up, and that's all there is to it. All right, we're, we're identifying which of these four patterns your homework problem looks like. First step is solve to find A, and then we just follow the example to uh, plug in. So the vertex will be zero, zero. The focus in this case is zero, five. The directrix is the opposite of A, so it's gonna be Y equals negative five. And then we can see that it opens up. So really, it's, that's all there is to it. You're just comparing it to these four to see which way it opens and the address of these important parts. All right, if you turn the page, look at page 12, they give you six problems to solve. Um, looking there at number five, ooh, we have a fraction. X squared equals one half Y. So let's do the same thing. We have the Y, we have the Y. We have the X squared, we have the X squared. We need to figure out what A would be. So we're gonna take the 4a and this time, instead of having it equal to 20, like we did in this problem, we have to set it equal to 1 half, okay? But we still have to solve for a. How do we do that? We're gonna multiply both sides by 1 fourth, and that will cancel. So a equals the fraction 1 eighth. All right, so sometimes you may get a fraction as your, as your answer for A, and then you would have to go back and plug it in for the focus, for the directrix, figure out the position. All right, it's, I wanna say this should, not, this should not be hard, but it's very different, very different from any other type of math that you have probably done to this point. All right, but enjoy how easy these six are because the next step on page 13, 14 is we get to draw some parabolas, sketching the graph of a parabola. So we'll come back and do that.